Hi friend, welcome to Monitoring and Evaluation Made Simple. I'm your host, Coach Alexander. For those of you who are here for the very first time, I've been practicing monitoring and evaluation for 10 years now, and I have enjoyed every bit of it. Today, I would like to talk about SMART goals or SMART indicators. I believe you already know what SMART means. These are acronyms that describe the following, namely S for specific, M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant, and T for timely. Before we dive into what each of these mean, I would like us to discuss firstly what a goal is and how related it is to project indicators. In a nutshell, a goal is, is described as the desired result that an individual or an organization would like to achieve over a period of time. For example, imagine you would like to have a net income of $30,000 per month. Then your desired result after five years is to have an income of $30,000 per month. However, in order to measure whether you have achieved that income, you need an indicator. You need an instrument or variable that will communicate to you whether you are achieving your target or not. Okay. Now, uh, sorry, I, I went back to that slide, but I wanted to show you this slide. So now, it's just like this. Okay, so imagine you want to lose a weight of 10 kgs in the next five years. Of course, I think that is far. Some people can lose weight within months or within a year. Okay, it's okay. Maybe let's just say within a year, you want to lose 10 kgs within a year. Your goal is to lose weight of 10 kgs. But your indicator for monitoring yourself is the weight. Now, do you see the relationship between goal and weight? The goal is the desired result that you want to achieve, okay? Which in this case, your goal is to lose weight. While the indicator is simply the variable that you use to measure that goal. So how are you going to measure whether you're achieving your goal of losing weight? It is by using the end indicator. So both of these have to be smart. That is specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. Okay. So now, Let's look at these acronyms in detail. When we say specific, as the word suggests, you have to be precise. Don't just mention that you want to achieve a high income in the next five years. Mention the actual amount that is to be achieved. In this case, if you are specific, you also mention the amount of income, which is $30,000 per month. Then you are being specific. What does measurable mean? Well, again, this is pretty straightforward. What we are saying here is that you should be able to measure your goals. If you say you want to measure how much a person is earning, that is relatively easy, right? You simply go to somebody's pay slip and look for their net income. That's all you do. Okay, so it's easy to measure net income. However, if you say you want to measure height of somebody, that is also relatively easy too, because all you do is get a measuring tape and measure their height. However, I want to ask you this question. Is it easy to measure the level of happiness among people? Okay, is that easy? That is not easy to do. Although one can argue that it is possible to measure someone's happiness, but it's not easy to do. Because how do you quantify happiness, you know? But you can quantify height, you can quantify income. So, 
when you say whether an indicator, let's go to now A, attainable. When you say whether an indicator is attainable, it simply means that if you set a target today, is it possible to achieve that target? When we say, is this indicator relevant? Given the resources available, are the ob objectives aligned with the strategic plan? It's not just a matter of throwing in indicators. You have to be sure that these indicators are aligned with the overall objectives of your organization. Okay, so I hope so far you've gotten what specific means. M for measurable, A for attainable, R for relevant. Now let's go to last but not the least, timely. What does this mean? Okay. It answers this question, when will it be done? That's what timely answers, okay? It refers to the fact that an objective has an end point and checkpoints built into it. Sometimes a task may only have an end point or due date. Sometimes that end point or due date is the actual end of the task. That's what timely means. Okay, so in other words, what we are saying here is taking us back to the initial example. You are saying that you want to achieve $30,000 per month, right? But the question is when? When should this be attained? Okay? You give a period of five years. You spend time thinking about how you're going to achieve that target. And you say to yourself, I'm going to achieve it in five years' time. Okay? You've attached a time. All right? You've expressed your commitment of achieving your goal. So, sometimes a task has several milestones or checkpoints to help you or others assess how well something is going before it is finished, okay? So that corrections or modifications can be made, okay? So the issue at the end of the day, whatever you are doing in life, whether it's personal, whether it's for the organization, you should make your goals smart, you should make your indicators smart as well. I sure hope you enjoyed this presentation on smart indicators. In future, I'm going to do a lot more videos on this particular topic. In the description below, you'll be pleased to know there's a link to the first ever Udemy course I created. It's on monitoring and evaluation. If you're interested, please click on that link. This course is not free, but it's, a, it's quite affordable for most people out there. It's on monitoring and evaluation. So I'd like you to click on that link below if you want to access the course. Don't forget to hit the subscribe back button. And if you want to keep up to date with many of the videos I post here, you can hit the bell button. Until we meet again, see you on the other side. Bye.